In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply vectors by matrices. We'll start with the observation that unlike when we multiply real numbers, order matters here. The matrix always is going to be first. The vector always is going to be second. A second observation, again, unlike real numbers, we can't always do multiplication. There's a restriction. The dimension of this matrix and the dimension of this vector have to match. In particular, let's say A is N by M. So N rows, M columns. Then this vector has to be M by one. M rows one column, and you see these M's have to match. And once we get to the definition, we'll see why that's true. What is a matrix times a vector? I mean, is it a matrix, a vector? a real number, it's the second of those. A matrix times a vector is a vector. And in particular, if we have these dimensions, this product is an n by one vector. So the inner dimensions have to match to do the multiplication. The outer dimensions give us the dimension of the product. How is this multiplication done? It's not probably a very intuitive definition. I'll say that. Let's think of this matrix as being a bunch of column vectors sitting next to each other. So what I mean by that, say we have a matrix, This first column is a vector, one, two. This second column is a vector, three, four. This third column is a vector, five, seven. So you can think of this matrix as being kind of a vector storage unit. And let's think of this matrix A in those terms. It's got its first column, its second column, and so on. It has M columns in total. And we're multiplying it by a vector V. And V has as many entries as this matrix has columns. It has M and 
trees. Then this multiplication will be defined as follows. Take this first column and take this first entry and do this scalar multiplication between them. Now take the second column and the second entry. Do this scalar multiplication. And we're going to add these together and so on down the line. The third entry here, scales are multiplied by the third column. And because of this restriction, we'll have as many columns as we have and trees and we'll stop when we multiply the emps and tree sorry that's not a vector that's a real number when we've multiplied the emps and tree of the vector times the emps column of the matrix. So for example, this matrix times this vector, we can do the multiplication because these dimensions match. And as we just defined multiplication, we should take this first entry times this first column plus this second entry times this second column plus this third entry times this third column. And that, let's try to do this quick. One, two, minus four, seven, plus twelve, six. Let's see, one minus four plus twelve, uh, nine. 2 minus 7 plus 6, 1. And you see this is a 2 by 1 vector, which is precisely what I said would happen up here, that the outer dimensions should give the dimension of the product. Now, as I say, when you see this definition, it doesn't really scream out to you as being obvious, or at least it certainly doesn't to me. But let's end this video by saying, that this definition of matrix vector multiplication has some nice properties. 
first, we are used to multiplication distributing over addition. And that is a property that this definition gives us. Matrix vector multiplication distributes over vector addition. Second, let's say we have a matrix times a vector. And this vector has this form. So a matrix times a scalar times a vector. We can move that scalar around. We have to ordinarily be careful moving stuff around when we multiply, because we've already made the observation that order matters here. The matrix has to be written first, the vector has to be written second. But scalars, we can move around.